Hey everyone, welcome back to the Harold Homestead. As you can see behind me, I've got a bunch of weeds. We're on the back side of my pond levee, which is currently leaking. I plan to fix that in the future, so that uh, I'll be I'll probably have to rent a dozer to do that, and so that's another project I plan on getting some good footage of. But in the meantime. Figured I would use this opportunity to showcase my Red Max weed eater. I used to have run steel and echo weed eaters, and this Red Max has really surprised me. My local dealer sold me on it, and I think. Uh, I, th I think the power to weight ratio on this is better than anything the other two have to offer. Now I like I like steel, I like Echo. I don't have any any issue with them. But this model, this model Red Max is a BGZ 260TS, and if you've got a bunch of if you got a bunch of thick brush and grass that you're wanting to uh, use a brush cutter or a weed eater for, I highly recommend this Red Max. But if you look, if you're looking at Red Maxes, look for this sticker on the end right here, or the T in the model number. It stands for the T is for torque. This uh, this is the Max Torque model. It has a slightly lower geared head than the regular model does so it spins the head a little bit slower well or maybe not slower but the uh the engine runs at a higher rpm and so when you get in the thick grass it doesn't bog down near as easily as the regular models do and this little thing will absolutely get it it's got a it's just got a 26 cc engine uh and it's not, it's not even the biggest engine red max makes on their on their trimmers and I haven't come into a situation where I've even needed a bigger one. Uh, it's, it's, it'll run, and I'm fixing to show you what it'll do. I forgot to mention earlier, this thing starts really well too. It's cold, I hadn't started it all day, and it'll most likely crank in two to three pulls. Oh.
Hey, uh, earlier I forgot to mention, I do, I do lawn care on the side, and I've had this, I've had this Red Max for about two years, maybe three, and I mean it's had a lot of use. You can see it's faded pink, and I haven't had any trouble with it. It's it's been a good machine. So anybody looking now, they they are. They're pretty expensive. I, I paid nearly four, I, right around 400 bucks for this one. So price wise, they're about the same as what you'd pay for a steel or an equivalent echo. But uh, having run the other two brands, this is, this is what I would go with. Uh, this is my personal preference. I, nothing against the other two. I just, I, I like the way this one performs. However, Echo is coming out with a new, or has come out with a new high torque model too. So I may try one of them out sometime and see see how I like it. But uh, so far, this is this has been a this has been a good little machine. If you have any questions about this Red Max or anything else, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to help any way I can. And once again, thanks for watching the Harold Homestead. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Y'all have a good day.